Hello, I'm Dennis O'Neill, and today I'd like to talk to you about presentational acting and representational acting. There are so many thoughts about what techniques, what, uh, what um, suggestions, what teachers teach uh, the best technique, the best method, and things like that. And I always say, what works for the actor? So let's talk about the two that, that uh, I brought up, the re representational acting and the presentational acting. Sarah Bernhardt and um, Eleonora Duarte, years ago, both did the same play. And uh, Sarah Bernhardt brought the presentational technique to her performance. And it had the audience laughing, it had them being a part of it, and she was very much aware, and she even played to the audience at times. So they all got uh, a lot of laughter out of it, a lot of joy, and they were entertained. Um, and it was almost like um, a magician doing tricks, and the audience is in on the gag. They know how the trick is done, what goes into it, they, they see it before their very eyes. While Eleanor Duarte, well, she played it with the presentational technique of acting. And it was the same play, but yet she brought the audience to so many different emotions. She brought them to tears. She brought sadness, sorrow, joy to them. She put them on an even keel. So there were many different uh, emotions that the audience was going through because what she did, unlike Sarah Bernhardt, she played real emotions and put them into the character. So the, the audience was not only more involved, but they were more surprised at each and every moment that she was up on that stage and every time she opened her mouth. She had a different emotion for each phrase, for each a sentence for each paragraph, while Sarah Bernhardt, she basically played to the audience, so she had a lot of fun doing it. Now, don't get me wrong, they both had fun doing their work. It's the only difference is one played from the other the total opposite spectrum. So one was to the audience, in your face, and showing the emotions. For instance, if the director said, show me fear, that's what she did. Or show me distress, oh, show me love. Or whatever the emotion was, she really brought it out to the forefront. Whereas Eleanor Duarte, she felt the emotions of all of those that she was uh, performing uh, on stage that night. So you see, it's two different techniques and, and you know dancing and, and acting are to me one and the same. What rhythm are you going to use? What beat are you going to do your scene to? Uh, you can learn you know dancing in the street or dancing in a studio. So what technique do you want? Do you want something that's loose, that's fun, that's uh, gay, that's uh, um, you know, just out there in your face? Or do you want something where you're going to draw the audience in instead of playing to them? So I'll leave you with these, these words. Representational acting is playing to the audience. Presentational acting, well, that's bringing the audience into you, into your world. Because don't forget, your stage is your world. In front of that camera on the set, that is your world. If it says the character's apartment, that is your apartment. I'll be uh, back next time to tell you in the coming weeks which type presentational or representational acting I personally like and choose. This is Dennis O'Neill. I'll see you next time.